replicas of two of the ships that brought Christopher Columbus and his expedition to the New World are now in Oswego. The Nina and the Pinta are docked at the H. Lee White Maritime Museum this weekend, and Brandon Roth is there live right now to take us on a little trip back in time. Brandon? Good morning, Jeremy. That's right, if you ever wanted to know what it was like for explorers heading out to the New World, you're in luck because we have the most authentic replicas of Christopher Columbus's ships, the Nina and the Pinta, right here in Oswego Harbor. We have Captain Stephen Sanger. Good morning, Good morning. welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the New World. <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, we're, these ships are fascinating. Uh, they took over three years to build, and you went through great pains to make sure they are authentic. And they've been called the most authentic replicas of those actual ships in the world. Yes, uh, in 1986, uh, when the the, the uh, it was decided that we're going to build the replicas of all three ships. Uh, not enough money was raised to build all three, uh, so the Nina was decided to be built because that had the most history behind it with Columbus. Yeah. Uh, so we did three years of research before the keel was even laid. Yeah. Three years of research went into it. And you've traveled all over the Western Hemisphere in these over quarter million miles. Yeah, we've already logged over 6,000 miles this year. Yeah. Uh, we start in the Gulf of Mexico and finish in the Gulf of Mexico each year. So people will come out here to the um, H. Lee White Maritime Museum here in Oswego Harbor to check out the ships. They'll actually get a sh chance to go on the ships, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, both ships will be set up like floating museums. They come on board, you know, stay as long as they like down at the, uh, at the ships. And obviously they can visit the Maritime Museum as well. Asked lots of questions to a very knowledgeable crew. Yeah, and I was up here yesterday, and they were saying how, you know, kids really love it and fascinating. So they get this experience, what it was like on these ships. Yeah, well, they have to, when they come on board, you have to picture 20 to 30 people, you know, average age, about 16 years old, all working, eating, and sleeping out on the main deck. So you find the kids really love it? Yeah, well, when they come on board, they think it's a big pirate ship, but hopefully when they leave, they know it's more for exploration. Because a big part of your mission is to educate people about what life was like. Aboard on. these ships, yeah, yeah aboard yeah. a Portuguese caravel. Yeah. Uh, they only need seven feet of water to travel yeah. around, so we can go a lot of places. Well, there you have it. History coming alive here at the Oswego Harbor H. Lee uh, White Maritime Museum's uh, Festival of Ships, which starts today, 10 o'clock, run, runs through 6 o'clock, and you, all through Sunday, you can come on out. Out, check out the ships and you can uh, get more information it's uh, nina nina pinta.org nina pinta.org as well get more information on the ships. and then yeah yeah and you can come on out and check out the ships yourself guys jeremy you gotta love it i know you're a big history guy oh yeah that, those look amazing brandon i definitely want to go check those out thanks for that preview this morning